the beauty of mathematics. That's what this video is about and how you can discover why mathematics is beautiful for different people. You know, beauty means different things. You know, some people like certain areas of math and that's normal. We all have preferences. You know, some people like pepperoni on their pizza. Some people don't. So I'm going to start this video by responding to a very, very short email which I received, which is the reason I'm making this video. So I have it here. The person's name is Mark. And the subject is book recommendations question. This is a fairly recent email I got. Hey, MS. Was wondering if you have any recommendations of books or resources for someone that wants to learn and see the beauty of maths from a more abstract theoretical point of view, but doesn't want to dive deep and do exercises. Thanks a lot and keep up the good work. Vids are great. Mark. Mark, I do. And your question is a very specific one, but I do have an answer. And I've got two answers because I have two copies of the same book here. And I'll explain that. And I'll explain why I have two copies. So the book here is this one here. It's called All the Math You Missed But Need to Know for Graduate School. This is the second edition. So I got this book for free. Okay, I got this book for free. And I bought this one. So I bought the book, the first edition. And I made a video on it. And apparently I caught the attention of the publishing company, Cambridge University Press. And they sent me this book and they sent me another book, um, Origometry and another one on probability, which is also very good. And I got to interview the author, Thomas Garrity. So this book will teach you the beauty of math without having to solve a lot of math problems. Uh, Thomas Garrity did an incredible job with this book. It covers so many topics. It gives you an overview of all of the main areas or a lot of the main areas of mathematics. Here, I'll just, I'm just gonna open it up here and I'll just show you or I'll just mention, here's a brief summary of the topics so you can see them. Let me put it there so you can see in the camera. So you can see there are linear algebra, real analysis, differentiating vector valued functions, point set topology, classical Stokes theorems, differential forms in Stokes theorem, curvature for curves and surfaces, geometry, countability in the axiom of choice, number theory, algebra, algebraic number theory, complex analysis, analytic number theory, Lebesgue integration, Fourier analysis, differential equations, combinatorics and probability theory, algorithms, and category theory. That's a ton of topics, right? And in the older edition, um, there are uh, less topics, right? There's less topics in the uh, first edition. So he added uh, a few topics to this one. And the book is really cool because it gives you an overview of each subject. It talks about like the basic objects and the basic maps. And it talks, talks about different things in mathematics, such as equivalence problems and things like that. So it gives you like a nice general overview of the field of mathematics. And I think this is a legendary book and I don't know of another book like this. There's other really great books that give you overviews, um, like What is Mathematics is a very famous book. It's very good. But this is a little bit different. It's much easier to read. And you're not going to like have to go deep into the problem solving in order to understand this book. One thing about this book is, you know, the title, All the Math You Miss But Need to Know for Graduate School. So it's marketed towards, you know, students who are going to graduate school. But I really don't, I, I think it's for everyone. <laughs> so I, mean, I can see, you know, his point and, I, and that's, a, it's a good book. And I'm not saying that it shouldn't be marketed towards that. I'm just saying that it's more than that, right? It's a wonderful book and I definitely recommend it. So that, that's my advice if you want something where you can just get an overview. Now, if you change your mind and you want to start doing um, some proofs and you want to actually do some problems and dive in and learn more math, maybe start studying a specific math topic. For example, once you know how to write proofs, you can learn maybe abstract algebra. So here's an abstract algebra book that I really like. It's called Abstract Algebra with a Concrete Introduction. And this is by Beachy and Blair. This book um, is really good. I use this book to teach myself field theory 
and I started with the polynomial section. So you start with polynomials. So if you know some abstract algebra, get this book, start with polynomials, and then you can learn field theory with this book. I did that because when I was in graduate school, it was assumed that I knew field theory and I didn't really know any field theory. So I had a bunch of abstract algebra books and out of all the books I had, this is the one that taught me field theory. Okay, so awesome book. So learn a specific math subject. That's going to require, you know, deep diving know and doing problems. But if you just want to like get an overview of the different areas of math, um, you know, get get a copy of the latest edition, whoops, <laughs> latest edition of Garrity's book, uh, All the Math You Missed um, But Need to Know for Graduate School. So definitely, definitely worth it. Um, I got to interview Thomas Garrity for an interview I did. Uh, we did like a YouTube video interview and he responded to questions and he gave some really great advice. Uh, just just search for it on YouTube. You should be able to find it. And if I remember, I'll, I'll try to leave a link to my review of this book and end of the video. So that'll give you a really good overview. Also, the book isn't that expensive. Like I don't know how much it is, but like I don't, I can just check really quick. Let me just look to see, um, you know, prices change, but like it, it's it's really not that bad. Let's see all the math you missed. So as of right now, like as of right now, it says it's thirty dollars brand new uh, for the book. So yeah, it's pretty good for for a new book, uh, a new book on uh, mathematics. If anyone else has advice, you know, uh, on on books that you can use to to kind of like appreciate the beauty of math, leave a comment because there's other books out there that are like math books that don't really require problem solving. Another one, I just I just occurred to me another one which I I don't know where it is here. It's called Everyday Calculus. And this is a book where uh it's written by Oscar Fernandez and basically it's a book where uh, Oscar talks about like he goes through his day and he sees how he can use calculus in the real world. So like he wakes up in the morning, he goes to work, like he has his his whole day, you know, pre-work, work and, and post-work and he discovers math all around him and it's extremely well written. It's a beautiful book. Um, so also recommend that one. It's called Everyday Calculus. That's a fun one that you can actually like read in bed. This one too, uh, this one too, or rather the newer edition, you can certainly read this in bed. Uh, but it does have actual math in it and you know it does and so does the other book but this has more math in it is what I'm saying right so it got some pretty serious mathematics in here uh, as you can see from the topics I just got to give it a whiff I'm sorry one second ah smells so good so good wonderful book uh, definitely recommend it if anyone else has um, you know advice for Mark leave a comment in the comment section below. So yeah, until next time, good luck. Take care.